Hello everyone, today we're going to play Mana Factory. Not to be confused with Nomi Factory, Mana Factory is a modern version of Nomi Factory. As you can see things are a bit different than normal Nomi Factory. This pack is on version 1.20.1 and currently in early beta. Starting like any Minecraft world by getting wood. The quests gave a diamond axe extra in comparison with the Nomi Factory. And now let's gather some resources. I will use the mining hammers only on ores, to not waste durability. I'm also playing on peaceful mode because I want to not deal with the monsters and food. Also the veins look similar to Greg Tech New Horizons, except that there are also vanilla styled veins. After a while, I found what I was searching for. Magnetite ore, that is just iron. Also there are underwater caves, which makes things more annoying. After I collected some magnetite, it was time to search for coal, but I didn't really had much coal nearby, so it was time to explore. I also looted some chests, which had a few resources. I found a big coal vein, and I started mining down. I will also abuse this command to not keep running back and forth. This water caves are very annoying. I had to use the door trick. I have to be careful to not fall. I found the coal vein, and I saved it. I also found a backpack in one of these chests. Which are very overpowered compared to normal Nomi factory. And now let's start the mining session. There are lots of diamonds also. Now let's increase our storage and to start smelting the ores. Every ore needs to be smelted in this pack, even the coal. I've made my crafting table into an item to be more easily accessible, and then I started cutting down some trees. While everything is smelting let's look at what we need to do next. Next we need to smelt the iron to make wrought iron. We will also need a lot of copper, which is found in those veins. I also collected a bit of tin. I don't think I would ever say this, but, I just looted some muscles. On the way to copper, I found a massive underwater cave. I had to use the door technique to mine further. After more than a minute of torture with water, I have finally reached a cave. And I also found the tip of a copper vein. And more water. And another cave. Copper in this mod pack is a torture to get and I don't really know how to deal with it. I wasn't able to collect much copper and I will have to torture myself further. I replaced in some furnaces with iron ones to speed up the smelting. Then I started to make some wrought iron tools for crafting. I also made some diamond armor. The recipe for diamond armor in Nomi Factory was more difficult than in this pack. The quests give some mana coins that can be used to buy stuff. Then I went back on digging to find redstone. Then I went back to Turcherland. After a while, I found a very good spot for mining. After the mining session, I've made some drawers to store stone and deep slate. 
Then I started to make some red alloy, made with copper and a lot of redstone, and some conduit of iron, made with iron and redstone. I also tried the new <laughs> item to see what is all about. I don't know what it does but I think it glitched out because I get it back after a while. Then I crafted some red alloy wires and some conductive iron wires. Then I wanted to craft an steam dynamo to generate electricity with water and coal, but I don't have silver. After a while, I found some far away, but it's way too few to be sustainable. But I went for it anyway because I didn't find a better spot. I am also looking for a way to transport the energy, so I need conduits too, which need sand, gravel, and clay. Gravel was easy to obtain. I also found a better place for silver. It also had lead, a resource that will come in handy later in the game. At home I crafted an iron barrel to store the ores because there will be quite a lot of mining. I crafted the go to it binders. I collected way too few gravel blocks but that will do for now. I also crafted the water collector to fill the dynamo. At least the steam dynamo. I used the Emmy recipe tree to better see the recipe. With the help of Emmy, I crafted more easily. I decided to also craft the upgrades. Then I've put the water collector next to the dynamo to be constantly filled with water. I crafted one more upgrade for the quest. Thanks for watching.